now let's move on to the last normal form that we have to discuss is BCNF. BCNF, the full form of BCNF is voice or normal form. Okay. Some people will also say it as it's a 3.5 NF. Because it's even more stricter and it's even more stronger than 3 NF. Okay. It says that, of course, the first condition is it must be in 3 NF. The second condition is for all the functional dependencies from X to Y, X should be a prime mean. And that's it. So it's even more stricter than 3NF, right? It just says that X should be in prime degree. X should be a prime degree. Okay. Again, let's understand with the help of an example. Let's take the normal, the example that we are taking. The student's table. In the student's table, we have their ID, their name, their phone number, and let's say their batch ID. Again, one student can have one phone number. Okay. First of all, the primary key of this table is ID. ID is the primary key of the table. Right. Now, let's write all the functional dependencies. The very first one is from ID, I can get their name. From ID, I can get their phone number. From ID, I can get their batch ID as well. Right? Now, from phone number, can I get their name? Yes, because phone number is also unique. No two people, no two students can have the same phone number. Right? Uh, first check if it is uh, if it is in 3 NF. It's in 3 NF because phone number is a part of a candidate key. Right? So it's in 3 NF. Now comes BCNF. Is it in BCNF? No. Why? Because phone number is not a primary key. And BCNF just say it's it should be in primary key. It should be a primary key. So it's not a primary key. So it violates BCNF. Let's just normalize this. So one table we can have for students, their ID, their name, and their batch ID. One table for the phone number. In that, we can have the student ID and we can have their phone number. Okay. So you are observing something. When we are moving ahead in the normal forms from 1NF to 2 to 3 to BCNF, we are actually decomposing our table more and more. Right? So, after that, after 3NF, BCNF, practically it's not used. Because we are actually doing more harm than good. When we have to do some query on our table, right? When uh, we have to join our table, right? The mem wastage of memory is there. So, after that, practically it's not used. So, till BCNF only you need to know about. Right? So, let's again take an example. Take example 2 for BCNF. Let's take a relation A, B, C, D, E given to you. Right? And functional dependencies as A to BC and C to B. The very first thing is you have to check is it in BCNF or not? If it is not, you have to convert it. Right? Let's check that. First, we need to find the primary key of this table. So, primary key can be pause the video, try to solve it on your own. Okay? So, primary key is A. Can A be the primary key? From A, I can get BC. And from C, I can get DE as well. So, from A, I am getting all the other attributes, all the other columns of the table. From B, can I get anything? No. From C, can I get? Yeah, I can get DE. But after that, no other attributes, no other columns. Right? So, A becomes my primary. The very first step is to find the primary key. So, A becomes my primary key of the table. Clear. Now, let's check for each and every functional dependency. The very first one is A to BC. 
A to B C. Now, A is a primary key, so it follows B C and F. Right. Now the next functional dependency is C to D E. Now it follows B C and F. No, because it just says that this X should be a primary key, but C is not a primary key. So it violates B, C, and F. So we have to normalize it. To normalize it, let's decompose our dependencies. The very first table can be now A, B, C. Second table can be C, D, and E. Okay, so this is the decomposed table. So that's pretty much all about we need to know uh, in about normal forms, about normalization. Okay. So now let's time to revise it, revise all the concepts that we have learned. And I'll give you some examples also, some table or some functional dependencies to solve on your own. Okay. So yeah, let's revise this. So let's quickly revise whatever we have learned about normalization. Okay, so normalization is, it's a process of removing redundant repetitive data and making the database design better. Okay, that's the main function of normalization. Now, what does data redundancy means? One data is repeated at multiple places. Now, redundant data create many problems. Many problems, that is anomalies. They are called anomalies. Problems due to bad database design. The very first problem is insertion. At the time of inserting something due to bad database design, you cannot able to insert that row properly. You want to insert something, but due to bad database design, due to redundancy, you can't able to insert that row properly. Okay. Then deletion. At the time of deletion, due to bad database design, we end up deleting a record that may contain any attribute that shouldn't be deleted. Okay. Update anomaly. Due to random failure, your database can be in an inconsistent state. So update anomaly means due to bad database design, maybe your database is in an inconsistent state. Okay, it's not consistent anymore. Now, normal forms. Normal forms, the very first one is one in F. A relation should not have multi-valued attributes. That's it. It's the easiest form. It just says your attribute should be single valued. Two in F. First, it follows one in F. Second, there should be no partial dependency. Partial dependency means a particular attribute can be derived from a subset of primary key attribute. If let's say A, B is a primary key, B is, D is derived from B. So this is partial dependency because D is derived from a partial of the key. Now, 3NF, first it must follow 2NF then there should not be a transitive dependency. Transitive dependency means if A drives B, B drives C, it implies that A drives C. That shouldn't be there. Or for all functional dependency, the one is X should be a candidate key or a primary key or Y should be a part of some candidate. Key. So either of the two conditions is true, then that means it's in 3NF, okay? Now, BCNF, it's a stricter form, stronger form of 3NF. It says that for X to Y, X to X to Y, X should be in primary key. That's it. Okay. Now, these are all the normal forms and about all the normalization. Now, these are some of the examples. You have to solve it. If you have any doubts, you can ask your query in the Discord channel of Scalar and you can ask the queries in comment section also. So, okay, so very first one is you are given a denormalized student course teacher table. You have to convert it into third normal form. Okay, first check if it is in third normal form, no need to convert. If it is not, you have to normalize it. Second question, you have to normalize the table students up to 3N. Up to 3N if you have to check it. Third one is you have to consider this table and check whether it's in 2NF or not. Or if it's not, you have to decompose, you have to normalize this table. So these are three examples given to you. Okay, take the screenshot and try to solve it on your own. Any query, you can post your queries on the Discord channel. So yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know about normalization. I hope you understand about normalization. Any query you have, comment it down. I'll answer each one of your query. Okay, 
So yeah, keep loving, keep supporting our content. If you like this video, do give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and we are coming up with more such videos in this playlist. So yeah, thank you all for watching.